hello good viewers you are welcome let's see how we are going to solve this problem this olympiad problem so we have x square minus y square equals 24 xy equals 35 so what the value of x plus y if x plus y is greater than zero that is when x plus y is positive so now let's continue so we've actually solved something like this before so now we are having another solution uh, another question on the on our read so we have we are going to start from here okay so this is divided of two square we can rewrite this equation as x minus y x plus y equals 24 so now from here i can now square the both sides you are square the both sides so i will distribute this power over this we have x minus y all square x plus y all square equals now 24 squares will give us 576 right so now from there so we are going to expand this separately this is different of uh, this is a um, perfect square quadratic perfect square quadratic so here if you want to expand the first one here, it's going to be x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. Don't forget because they are product of each other. Then here, x squared plus y squared plus 2xy then equals to 500 and what? 576. I following so now from there what's the next thing you're going to do so we are going to see that here let's relate this to be a x square plus y square to be a this to x square to be b this to be b so now let's use difference of two square if you have a minus b then a plus b you see that we are going to have this to be a squared minus b squared so therefore i replace a squared plus y squared to be a then 2xy to be b so now for i will now come from here i will write this here in this form so therefore my a is a squared plus y squared i following all squared minus 2xy all squared equals 576 so now we move on we see that here xy equals what equals 35 if you remember from the beginning so we have xy to be 35 here so therefore since i see x y here i will replace this 35 so i'm going to be having x squared plus y squared all squared minus 2 times 35 all squared equals 576 are you following so now we have x squared plus y squared all squared minus 2 times 35 that is 70 we have 70 all squared equals 576 so here we have x squared plus y squared all squared minus 7 squared is 4 9 0 0 equals 576 are you following so now we move for that x squared plus y squared all squared so i'm going to transpose 4,900 to this side x squared plus y squared all squared will be equals 576 plus 4900 so i'm going to be having x squared plus y squared all squared equals 576 plus 4900 we're going to have 5476 okay now i will have to take the square root of both sides so taking the square root of both sides this is going to be plus or minus 
So I'm going to be having this canceling this. I have x squared plus y squared. Then equals plus or minus. Now the square root of 5476 is going to give us 74. So let's label this equation star. So now from here, I want us to recall that recall that x plus y all squared equals x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. So we are going to apply this here because what we are looking for is x plus y. So that's why I brought this perfect square, you know, quadratic identity. So from here now, I have x plus y all squared equals. So now x squared plus y squared here is same thing as this star, equation star here. You have plus or minus 74 plus 2 into bracket xy is same thing as 35 as we have it up there. So we are going to have x plus y all square equals plus or minus 74 plus 2 times 35 is what is 70. So therefore, we are going to be having two solutions for x plus y all square is going to be plus taking the positive 74 plus 70 or we said x plus y all squared equals so let me take 70 first 70 then the minus i bring the minus minus 74 right so here i cancel this one because 74 minus 70 minus 74 will give us minus 4 and you can see x plus y all square can actually not give us minus 4 okay so it cannot be uh greater than because this is not greater than zero okay so because we are having a negative here so x plus y square cannot give us negative so therefore we move further from here we have x plus y all squared equals 70 plus 4 144 so now when you take the square root of both sides this we cancel this one we have x plus y equals plus or minus 12 okay but we are interested in the positive what positive value so therefore x plus y equals what equals 12 and that is the solution so we are interested in the positive value of x plus y so we have x plus y to be equals 12 and we are going to neglect the negative value and that's the end of the class so if you find this uh lesson interesting kindly subscribe Hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime you upload a new content. Thank you. Bye-bye.